JB here, JB here. Hope everyone's doing outstanding. Friday, November 29th, 9.05. Hope you had a great Thanksgiving. I'll talk really quick about the markets. Some names I'm looking at go from there. Apologize a little under the weather. A lot of fun to uh, wake up this morning with that. But anyway, uh, my favorite day, one of my favorite days, the half days or half sessions, typically it's pretty much the open and the close are squished together tighter so you get rid of that intraday chop. So I, they're one of my... Uh, yeah, I like it. This is one of my favorite days. <clears throat> but take a look at the S&P. Uh, overnight, uh, Asian markets closed mostly higher. Europe markets kind of mixed this morning. And then U.S. futures are in the green. And with small caps leading the charge up nearly uh, seven-tenths of a percent. And it's the last day of the November trading month. And if you take a look at performance so far, the S&P is up nearly 5% this, this month. And small caps are up 10%. Um, and then historicals, I posted in a watch list. I think it's in one of the charts. I think I posted in the main room. Uh, this is, I don't know if it's a market watch, but the average performance, historically speaking, for uh, S&P, NASDAQ, small caps, and uh, the Dow, you can see December's performance for small caps. It averages typically a, over a 2% gain. So we're already on the heels of a 10% gain. Um, I think some of it has to do with the shenanigans, with the tax law selling and things like that, but... Uh, I, I think it's it's a great setup, bodes well. Um, what, another tight session on Wednesday, so it was pretty much a half percent trading range. I think that bodes well for more upside. And then I think another chop here today, and then we start our trek to 610 on the SPY. And then that's kind of like a, an area I'll look to revisit uh, or maybe look for potential profit taking. Uh, that's one. And take a look at the small caps, IWM. That 240 spot looks like... Support resistance now actually is like 242, and I think 250 plus into the end of the year on the IWM. So I think that all bodes well. Um, and then last but not least, here's the, the yields tick down again on Wednesday, ticking down again this morning. And then the VIX was flat as a pancake yesterday uh, on Wednesday, closed at 1410. It was 0.00% change. So all that I think bodes well. And you take a look at VIX, it's down 40% from its highs at the start of the month. So all that election volatility that just just came out, which, you know, all, all good stuff. And the Fed meeting, which we have a Fed meeting. So December, I don't know. In, of course, we'll have data. And then, you know, this morning we're already getting Black Friday data, Thanksgiving Day data. We'll have Cyber Monday data. But I don't know how much is really, back in the day, used to have huge swings or especially in some of these names because black friday used to be such a big day because it was one day now it seems like it's all spread out now you have amazon prime days so all the retailers now start doing it july we had now we had october so it, it kind of like uh moves out all these deals in my opinion and then now it's like they've they've gotten to the point you go to amazon now and it, and like every single item says black friday deal and you look and i'm like that's the same price it was two weeks ago uh and then it'll say 25 percent off but that it's you know i don't know who no one like regulates how the prices go. Do they raise the price and then do the discount on top of the raised price? It just doesn't seem as attractive as it used to be. I think it, of course, they'll be spending and hopefully it's year over year increases. And I don't think there'll be much in a way impacts uh, through today and then starting Monday, unless there's some kind of surprise name that really did well. You know, back in the day, it used to be Uggs, right? So you'd see Deckers, you know, the Decker stock going nuts back before it was it was going bonkers. Um, and then, uh, you know, even... Back in the day, you used to see, I mean, Netflix used to run. Uh, they used to do the, the subscription trials, things like that. All right, so that's uh, overall market. So next week, hopefully, you know, if we do get some shenanigans today, it's going to be low volume. 595 will be the spot. I want to see that hold. So now individual names. And speaking of holidays and heading into the new year, uh, some analysts upgraded some of the health uh, fitness stocks today. I think a Planet Fitness got upgraded today. But, but, yeah, did I pull it up? I don't even know if I pulled that up. But take a look at Peloton today, and I was looking at the historicals on this one, and it typically has a nice run-up uh, post-Thanksgiving, which, you know, I don't know if people feel guilty and run out. It's not like they're going to run out and get the bike, but maybe the market starts pricing in things into the start of next year. Again, I really love this story into 2025. I think it trades north of 15 in the coming weeks and months. Um, and then take a look at the performance, and I posted this on, on Wednesday as well. This is, the, this is last year. So, unfortunately, we don't have that five, six day trading window from Thanksgiving to December, like we did last last year. And most years, typically there's a little more trading before December starts because December uh, will be first day of December, Sunday. So <laughs> this is the last day in November, but I still think that's a solid historical there. Take a look at that. So you do 10% or I mean, 
from where it is now and you're looking at 11 and change so i don't know if it's going to get that obviously had a huge run already but i can always uh uh you know you could be hopeful here so i think that just bodes well it's not, it's not negative uh yeah planet fitness got upgraded da davison from 87 to 70 kept the neutral rating all right so that's that that's peloton uh teldoc has their uh, you know at, at first i thought it was an investor day it's actually a, a conference at 12 30 on december 3rd uh th that could be another catalyst for the name i don't think it needs much of a catalyst to begin with but um, you know right ran out of the gate on wednesday looked like it was going to break back over 12 then found pressure for the rest of the day melted closed pretty much at lows but flat inside session as well from uh Monday session when it had the big rally. Tuesday had some weakness and still an inside day. And then Wednesday, another inside day. So typically inside days are solid consolidation for the next leg. I think this head's over 15, just like Peloton, but I think this could do it sooner. Maybe that investor, uh, that conference will be an upgrade uh, well, and a catalyst for the stock, not an upgrade, but I mean, who knows if it gets upgrades the day after. Uh, that's, that's Teladoc. Joby, similar story to Teladoc, ran up after the open on wednesday all the way up to 860 before pulling back giving back 60 cents to close at eight bucks pretty much what well, was up one percent still like this name i'm gonna be patient but i'm gonna add april strikes at some point because i think the tailwinds are gonna start to kick in for some of these uh evil names into evtol however you, ev eve toll i don't know how you pronounce it uh the acronym but um i think the, the tailwinds are gonna really start to kick up to start the year and the market's I don't think it's even priced in. And I mean, it was a $12 stock back in 2023. I'm not, not saying that that's, that's a good benchmark for it, but I do think there's opportunity, especially now as it gets, you get close to some of these regulatory hurdles getting, getting crossed, right? Uh, so that's Joby, really like that one. A block so disappointing, Square, over the last couple couple sessions, just been stuck at 20, uh, 89. Like, it seems like a magnet. So, what, you know, I've said this last week, it's either consolidating for the next leg or it's it's in a topping process and it's going to head back to the low 80s. I hope that's, I hope it's the former. Uh, you look at the chart, it actually looks pretty good here. You know, if it holds 89, then if it doesn't hold 89, I mean, if it gets down to 85, but after that, then I it's probably a name I'll revisit at some point. But if it breaks, starts to get its mojo again, it trades over 94, I'll add some more strikes for, for FOMO. <laughs> mojo and FOMO. Um, that's that. Travel Zoo is up. Uh, another 3% on Wednesday, no, more 52 week highs, just so illiquid on the options. I was trying to look for some strikes and I keep saying that, but the more I keep saying that, the higher it keeps going. So at some time, some point I pulled the trigger, hopefully that's today. Uh, then some other names still looking at pool back to back red sessions after I kind of said, Hey, I'm going to look to trade this into the four uh, hundreds. So I'll, I'll be patient there, but if it shows some strength and it was gapping a little bit this morning, uh, let's see here. Is it 382? Did it get something? Oh, nothing here, but it, the bid's 378. It closed at 376. So maybe today is the day I'll get some. Uh, same with Intuit. So uh, that's 632, and I don't know why I don't have the chart here. That 50 and 200 day moving average right there at 631, 632. It hit that again for like the third session in a row on Wednesday and then bounced uh, and then found pressure into the close, closed at 636. If it reverses, right now it's at 636 in the pre market. If it reverses and, and breaks under that again, I'll, I'll be getting some puts. And like I said uh, last week, I'd, I'll probably get 580 December strikes. I don't need it to go to 580 by the December expiration. I just need it to drop another 20 bucks or so, and those those puts will be up a couple hundred percent. And not only that, it'll give some protection if there is some craziness in the market, or I call it shenanigans. Um, and that's it, folks. I'll be back on audio later. Let's have a great day. Short day. Market closed at one o'clock. I mean, you can, I think you trade after hours till two o'clock today, and then then things stop ticking. I don't know how that works now. I don't know how it'll work this year, but I think that's how it'll work. All right, have a great day, folks. I'll be back on later. Rock and roll.